Okay, we're back. We're going to install, try this, this uh, package and get it set up. And as you can see, I have the package right here. And then over here I have a TV, which I'm going to use the HDMI connector for. And then I have a keyboard and mouse and a little wireless connector that I use on my other Raspberry Pi. So let's see how that works on an install. So let's give this a, a start here. So I'm going to unpack it again. And as you can see, it comes with the HDMI cable. And I'm going to run it. Uh, actually, I'm going to move all this out of the way and put the Raspberry Pi right here so you can see it. This is the power supply. So we're going to get this ready here. Here's the power supply. And next we will, this is the case for the Raspberry Pi and the reader. I just noticed in the inside the chip is in the Raspberry Pi in the little bag. So this is the other parts that came with this. So here's the Raspberry Pi itself, which we already went through this in the unboxing video. And so you can see it, I'm going to put it right here. Actually, everything is pretty close here, which is good. Okay, so let me pull the Raspberry Pi out. Here's the Raspberry Pi right here. And here is the, the chip. So it's pre-programmed. It says may appear as one gig when inserted. We'll go through this. But from the instructions, you just put it, put the chip in, and this is loaded with noobs. So I will open this up. There we go. Get the chip out. This is a neat kit. Everything, everything is included here that you need. So it, it gets you started with everything. So this is a little, what is it? 30? Yeah, it's 32. Okay, so then you put this like this in here. There we go. Let's push it in. And this is then the friction type, not the spring. I had a Raspberry Pi version 1. It had the spring. But this is a little different. I think version 2 has it. Okay, so that's in there. So now what I'm going to do, this right here, showed up on the camera. This is the power, the HDMI connector. This is the HDMI connector. And then these are the USB ports and Ethernet ports. So I'm going to install this from my wireless keyboard. Let's see if it reads it. should read it. There we go. Okay. So that's there. And what I'm going to do is use all the equipment that came with the package. So let me put this. Get this installed here. It's kind of convenient, just I'm just using a TV, so it's not a special monitor. And I will move the camera over so you can see the screen. That's the most important part, so you can see what's going on. Then you put this right here. There we go. Now I'm inserting this into the HDMI connector in the television. Okay, and the power is being plugged in right here. Just making sure we have power here. I'm going to undo this also. Kind of make it so you can see everything. Okay, so as I put in the power, I'm going to change the screen. So this is just keyboard, mouse, 
and the Raspberry Pi right there. And I'm going to direct this now toward the screen and I'll zoom it in as I put in the power. Actually, let me fix this. I'll zoom it a little bit in here so you can see what it's about to do. Okay, so I am now applying the power to the Raspberry Pi. There we go. The light went on, which is good. So now you see a screen on there. Okay, let's see. It is booting up. And my mouse is working, just so you know. It looks like it's already doing this. It's installing the Noobs system. Okay, so it wants you to install this. So the good news is my mouse is working, as you can see. I'm going to click this, which is Raspbian. Raspbian, this is what, what comes with the chip in that kit. And you can see it has Wi-Fi networks, online help, but all these are grayed out. Wi-Fi networks are not going to worry about right now. We just want to install the operating system. And then you click on install right on this, this section right there which I think you can see, if I can zoom that in, there we go. So you can see the install. I'm going to click on that. Let me uh, zoom it out a bit. Okay, here we go. We're going to click it. It says this, this will install the selected operating systems or system. All existing data will be overwritten. So just, just so you know, you can get noobs again you can download it and stick it on the card i'll go through that on another video so we're going to say yes and there we go it is installing the operating system and i think it goes pretty quick so i'll leave that running and you can watch it install Should go pretty quick. The boot up time is amazing on these little devices when you boot it up. And the other thing I love about it is the the low power that it uses. It uses very, very little power. There we go. You can see it moving. 55 mag, 75. Yeah, it's moving. I will do another video and erase the card that, that's the other thing. You can erase the card, start over again. You can fix things. But I just wanted to do the stock with what comes out of the box. So I'm just going to do it to it installs. You can see the desktop. And I'll do another video where I get it from the internet, the internet and stick it on the card. And then we can run another install. So it looks good. It's doing its install. There we go. So it says that the OS was installed successfully. So let's hit 
OK. And it's doing a reboot. There we go. Yeah. And it all looks good. You'll notice how fast it boots. It's, it's pretty quick. And if anything happens, we can just put the file back on there and do another install. That's what's fun about it. There we go. And my mouse is working. And as you notice, the wireless mouse worked even while we were doing the install. So there we go. Look at this. It's working. And you have a menu here. And you've got a web browser. And that's a terminal window. So what we're going to do, there are some settings. You want Raspberry Pi configuration. I'll show you what this does. You can see the different menus. So it has the change of the password, wait for the network. It's interesting what's on here. So now you can see what's on the menus. But that is basically how everything runs. You can add, remove software, appearance settings, main menu editor. So now you can kind of get an idea of what it actually installs. And we will go through more configuration on here. You can, I'm just running through the menus so you can see what's on the menus. This one came with LibreOffice. And it will leave it with one gig space. There is a menu to expand that space that I will go through in another video. You can do it with command line or you can do it from the menu. We will go through that on the next on the next video. And programming that comes with all these programs. Python, we'll go through that. And I'm going to go through another video which shows how you how you can program those GPIO pins to turn on LEDs, relays and and lots of fun activity. But there you go. Now I am going to go through the menu right here where it says shut down and you can see the menu here where it says shut down and I'm going to shut it down and let's see and that is it it is off thanks for watching